hey guys welcome back to another testing react video so in today's video we're going to take a look how we are going to test uh, states inside react uh, especially for functional components that are using the use state hook so i have a simple component here which is a counter that shows the count and then has two buttons where we can add to the count or subtract from the count by a value of one very simple and i have some few tests written over here obviously the test itself is not written by the description of the test and jeff's just provides us with a very beautiful functionality to uh, say that this test is a to do something you want to do in the future so we have it or test dot to do so obviously so that's a test that will run uh, that when you implement it then it will run okay so how are we going to test states of use states inside react so obviously we can't enter into this component and then test the actual states was value it's impossible because of how javascript functions and closures work right so these are private to the functions we can't see it or do anything with it so obviously we can't test it that way by directly assessing it so the other so the way that we are going to go about is to actually test the behavior of the components based on the changes that happens with the state so in this case how, how the uh, the count number showing based on what we do with the add and what subtract what buttons right? so that's how we can test states or use states inside react okay so so the first test case is to show initial count of zero so we know that for the state it has an initial value of zero so obviously you expect that zero should be in the document right so let's get rid of the to do because we are actually implementing this test so let's say we expect so using the screen to expect oops get by text so uh, we are using the get by text to ensure that we have a zero in the document uh, to be in the document so let's save that and let's see the test right so it passes right so it passes beautifully so the test is passing but this test is not uh, good enough simply because some uh, i can provide another zero over here and uh, obviously that will break the test right yes th that breaks the test so simply because there are two zeros in the document but we do not want that so we want a particular component to have that zero value so how do we go about testing that kind of use case right so in the previous videos we took a look at the various uh, functions or test functions that we can use in order to ensure it's a specific component has what it needs and right now we are going to use the get by test id right so get by test ID. so in the previous year i talked about the get by test id so obviously the get by test id will look for a component that has this prop data dash test id so let's say this is the count right so this is the test ID. so we can get rid of this test uh, or we can leave it there for you know extra security but get rid of this zero value let's save that so the test will pass again because we've gotten rid of the zero and zero is this but we are going to use the second assertion of the get by test ID and what is the ID of this component it is count 
right so to be in the document so let's say that there is an actual component with a test id of count is uh, in the document so that passes but we want to ensure that this particular component actually has that zero uh, value in it or in this doc uh, in this ch as this child so we can use the oops sorry so let's copy this so we can use the to have text content so to have test content simply checks the content or the child of the component to be of a specific what text so in this case we, got, we are going to say should be zero so there is another way we can test the stuff that is inside what components or render as a child of the component and it passes so these three test cases will ensure that the initial value that is shown for the count is always zero right so that's it so now we're going on to the the more interesting part of this video so we are going to test the how the uh, component renders when we add or we increment what the count so when we click the add button how, how the component will respond to that kind of what interaction so we move on to our second test case so should increase count when add is click okay so so we so now we need to first what grab or get access to the add what button so first we are going to actually assert that that button exists using the get by row button then the content or the name given to this particular button is add so we expect that this button actually does exist so let's ensure that this button exists running the test and it passes right it passes beautifully oh and there's there this new feature that is in vs code that is very unique which allows us to pick the terminal and then move it to one of the tabs right pretty neat so we don't have too many stuff on the on the on the page or on the view pretty neat i really like this neat little feature okay so back to the test so now we know that the button does exist so now we need to interact with this button so we need to click on the button okay so we are going to use the user event testing library in which we took a look at that in the previous video where we know that we can use this library to perform the various interactions users usually do whenever they visit a website right so first so we have the user events then we have what the click so we are clicking on the button so you click on the button and we need to get the button so let's grab that paste that in there so we click on the button that's what this whole line is doing and what do we expect the component to be in a state whenever we click on the button so we expect that so obviously we are going to just copy this test case and then paste that in there let me move this over a little bit to make things a little bit clear right so we expect that whenever we click on the add so it will increment by one because that's what this uh, increment is doing so we know that it will move from zero to one so let's check the test and it passes very very simple so when we click on the add button the value of the count will increment by one very beautiful 
okay so the same test can also be done to the subtract button with the exception that this time it will be subtracting by one so it will decrement so let's have this test So we are simply going to grab everything that we've already written for the add button. Just change a few things. So we change the add here to subtract. Same for here. And this time, I actually want to ma make this test fail to ensure that this test is actually running correctly. So let's set, set that value to zero. Let's run the test. I expect this test should fail but if it passes there is a problem yes so it fails and that's what we expect because now we've clicked on the subtract the value is no longer zero but it's what minus one so we change that to minus one we run the test again and it passes very very simple yes yeah, so that's how we can actually test states inside Re react specifically the hooks that are being used for functional components for testing class-based component states there is a different method that you can go about to actually test the state itself but that will be for another video in this video we just took a look at a simple functional component and then testing is a state by testing the behavior of the component whenever we make it uh, an interaction to the state so that's it for this video in the next video we're going to take a look at more unique uh, more interesting ways that we can test uh, react uh, hooks react states and react components and stuff